Henshaw's apps. Welcome to Henshaw's Knowledge Village. This video is about dictator software. So that's about getting your voice to type for you. It's a brilliant way for anybody. But obviously if you've got a visual impairment and you've got no vision, it's a necessity. So I'm Mark Belcher and this is... I'm Richard Powell. And Richard is the guru of dictatorship. Because um, essentially we've been asked uh, to look into this uh, for one of our volunteers and uh, while Richard was on the case we thought it would make a really good video so this video is about comparisons because we did a comparison on the flip side which is OCR that's basically getting text into speech so we thought we would flip it around and get voice to type for us so Richard how many types of dictation are there? There's loads of types of dictation, but we've narrowed it down to about four of the main ones. So we've got Google, yeah. we've got Apple, yeah. we've got Dragon, yeah. and we've got Microsoft. Okay, so are they all three? For Microsoft, uh, we've looked at Office 365, which is a, an annual subscription. Okay. Uh, Dragon, uh, you need to buy the uh, software license. It's a one-off charge of around about £70. Um, Google is free and so is iOS providing you've got the, either, either the device or uh, access to the uh, Google Chrome browser. Okay, so is there one that you prefer? There is one that I prefer but it only slightly tips it so I'll come down to that at the end of the video. I've done a recording of a standard letter that we send out on a regular basis. Okay. I've included all the punctuation and formatting in new lines and new paragraphs and we play, we're playing that piece of recording to each of the four different uh, dictation packages. Because that's just going to make it fairer, so there's no change in tone, no ambience to worry about, it's just literally going to be a solid state piece of recording. And then we're just going, you're going to watch it and you're going to see which one's the winner and which one you like. Because sometimes we have opinions, but that's all it is, it's just our opinion. So uh, should we get to that? Anything else we want to add? No, let's get cracking. Right, do it. Okay, so here we go with the first uh, one, which is the Apple. I'm using two iPhones side by side. One's got the audio on it, and the other is going to listen and hopefully uh, do an accurate dictation for us. So here we go. Dear Mark, comma, new paragraph. Following our telephone conversation, comma, I would like to confirm your appointment for an assistive technology assessment on Friday the 1st of November 2020 at 1.30 p.m. Full stop, new paragraph. Your appointment is with Richard at Henshaw's office in Trafford, colon, new paragraph. Okay, I'm going to pause it there. You get the idea. That's what we're going to do with the rest of them and we'll uh, find out how they all perform. Okay, next up we've got Dragon. So I'm using the same principle. I'm going to play an audio file from my iPhone, exactly the same audio file, exactly the same volume. The difference is I am using a headset microphone because the microphone that comes with laptops isn't generally good quality. So here we go. Dear Mark, comma, new paragraph. Following our telephone conversation, comma, I would like to confirm your appointment for an assistive technology assessment on Friday the 1st of November 2020 at 1.30 p.m. Full stop, new paragraph. Your appointment is with Richard at Henshaw's office in Trafford, colon, new paragraph. Okay, and that was Dragon. Okay, next up we've got Google Docs, exactly the same process, so here we go. Dear Mark, comma, new paragraph. Following our telephone conversation, comma, I would like to confirm your appointment for an assistive technology assessment on Friday the 1st of November 2020 at 1.30 p.m. Full stop, new paragraph. Your appointment is with Richard at Henshaw's office in Trafford, colon, new paragraph. And that was Google Docs. Okay, and last up, we've got Microsoft Office 365. Here goes. Dear Mark, comma, new paragraph. 
Following our telephone conversation, comma, I would like to confirm your appointment for an assistive technology assessment on Friday the 1st of November 2020 at 1.30 p.m. Full stop, new paragraph. Your appointment is with Richard at Henshaw's office in Trafford, colon, new paragraph. Okay, and that was Office 365. So, what do you think? How did it fare? And I think you've been uh, you've been doing your sums as well with regards to the accuracy and what other parameters have you been looking at? Yeah, you know what I'm like, Mark. I try to write it all down, facts yeah. and figures, all the stats. Um, so, generally speaking, they're all fairly accurate. Uh, there's nothing 100% accurate. I uh, don't think there ever will be. Including someone typing just generally. You know, I'm rubbish. So am I. I make more mistakes when I'm typing than I do when I'm dictating. Yeah, yeah. But just that, just but, got to get your head around it. It's just a different way of doing things. That's right. But like you said, the younger generation uh, tend to dictate. And change they just, us. Yeah. We're not the younger generation. So, yeah, shame. Okay, so uh, a couple of things to, uh, that I noticed was on the screen... Um, they do it in different ways. So, for example, uh, Apple will put everything that you say or it thinks you say on the screen and then think about it and then take it back off the screen and put it back on in uh, the final version. Whereas uh, Dragon or Google will just put a bit of a fuzz on the screen until it's worked out what it thinks you've said and then put it on the screen. So they do display things in different ways. Yeah. Um, overall. Accurate. Yeah. Fairly Good. accurate, yeah. Um, it's fair to say that um, what you do need to do is kind of pronounce yourself properly. So uh, I've got like a bit of a sulfur, a bit of a sulfur, sulfurian drawl. So sometimes it struggles with me. So I have to speak the Queen's English, and it gets uh, it's a lot more accurate. Um, and then there's obviously these commands that you wouldn't normally do, like saying full stop and next paragraph. But once you've got your head around it. Um, it, it's pretty easy to do and, and pretty awesome. I do it all the time for spelling, actually. You know, when I can't think of a word, I just, on my Mac, I just double function button, just say the word and it'll spell it for me. So, um, so is there a winner in your opinion? There is one that slightly nudges it. Yeah. Uh, it's not uh, running away uh, winner, uh, but uh, Office 365 slightly nudges it for me. Uh, and then it was Google, iOS, and then Dragon, but we're talking a total range in accuracy between about 96 and 99%. So it's not a huge amount of difference. I think the main thing is go, go with what you're comfortable with. Yeah, and I think the other point really to make is across all platforms, there is a solution. So you can dive into Google Docs, it's free. Um, you can dive into Apple products, it's on all of them, iPhones, iPad, and Max. Um, Office, unfortunately, it's only on 365, so you'd have to buy into the Office 365. Um, and then Dragons, you know, it's not a lot of money really, 70 quid for a personal license. So, you know, that's a solution too. Um, so, I don't know if you found this video of use. Um, we actually really enjoyed doing it. Um, and I've learned a lot. Thank you, Richard, for that. Thank you. And all the research is done. If you like the video, as always, subscribe, tell your mates, give us a thumbs up, comment, uh, good or bad, mostly good, um, and I think we'll see you on the next one. Henshaws, supporting people with sight loss and a range of other disabilities to go beyond expectations.